Howdy folks and welcome to Brain Rodders. What if episode 3 has premiered and it's got twists and turns that a lot of us did not see coming, but I bet you might have missed these easter eggs in this week's episode, so stay with me. Throughout the episode we get the there was an idea speech from Fury almost every day we spend with him. Before most of the killings, all the scenes play out dialogue wise, mostly the same from our MCU movies, like Fury asking Stark to exit the donut for example in Iron Man 2. There was a few screenshots of the Avengers such as Tony's screenshot of him discovering his palladium poisoning in Iron Man 2, then the whiplash fight in Iron Man 2, a screenshot from the Avengers of Black Widow and Hawkeye talking about Budapest, a screenshot of Thor 1, a screenshot of Hulk smacking around Loki from the puny god scene in Avengers 2012, the same screenshot of the classic Avengers in the team-up sequence from Avengers, we get as that as well. If you don't know, Iron Man 2, Thor, and Incredible Hulk are the movies that make up Fury's big week or so it has been nicknamed, so it was fun for Marvel to play around with that concept for the episode. This scene of Coulson talking to Fury on the phone, Coulson's dialogue is almost word for word from Thor 2011. Alexander Pierce is name dropping the episode. We actually do see him on the S.H.I.E.L.D. database briefly when Widow is accessing it. Rumlow is in the episode briefly and complains about Black Widow being recruited for the Avengers and not him, so I think since he's complaining that he didn't get a spot on the big team that he hasn't defected to Hydra quite yet, like we know from Winter Soldier. Speaking of, the tight space action scene we get in the truck, it's like the elevator scene from Winter Soldier. Hawkeye references Agent Jackson on site of Thor 2011, and a simple IMDB casting has it so that this guy here is Jackson that he's talking about in 2011. Coulson theorizes that a cyanide capsule is what killed Hawkeye. The cyanide capsule is actually what the Hydra agent used on himself in the first Avenger. There's a surprise cameo from Betty in the episode from The Incredible Hulk. We actually get to see the pizza parlor jacket and hat from The Incredible Hulk that Bruce wore to sneak into the university. Speaking of Bruce, we got to talk about how this is Marvel's first retcon of inserting Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner into The Incredible Hulk, officially wiping out Norton out of the picture. We get to see Black Widow pose her classic pose. Hank Pym, by enlarging Hulk's heart, really made Hulk into a gamma bomb. If you don't know, in the comics, a gamma bomb is how Banner became Hulk. Hey, you made it this far. You might as well subscribe if you're new, as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one. Coulson's obsession with Steve Rogers Rogers is shown in his password being that is I love Steve a bunch of times it's not the first funny password in the MCU either being that roadies in Iron Man 3 when he told Tony was War Machine rocks going back to that database again Janet Van Dyne can be seen listed as dead on there as we know Janet to have survived in the quantum realm however it teases Hank Pym or even hope to have been the killer this whole time personally it was a blink and miss at moment but I did think it was hope but when it was revealed that she died too, well, Hank makes sense. On the database, we also see this picture of Maria Hill. Captain Marvel's appearance is teased by use of the bleeper that Fury was given. So Odessa, Ukraine is where Hope is said to have died, spoken by Fury himself. How she died is unknown, but if we take another look at Winter Soldier, Romanoff says on a S.H.I.E.L.D. escort operation when they reached Odessa, the Winter Soldier attacked the convoy, killing almost everyone and leaving Romanoff injured badly. What if, in this universe, Black Widow still led the mission, but Hope was an agent working on that op too, and Hope was one of the agents killed by Winter Soldier? What are your thoughts on that? Pym turned into Yellow Jacket, which he does in the comics when Pym hands over the suit to Scott Lang. We get a similar shot of Loki's around a feeble length Pym, like we did in Thor 2011 here. You were made to be ruled is what Loki says, which is his line from his opening scene in Avengers. Lastly, Fury says the line, they can, but we won't, in response to Coulson telling that the Avengers may rest in peace. They can, but we won't. It sounds familiar in the sense that when Cap tells people that they should move on, he says some do, but not us. It's just an interesting parallel that I really like. They can, but we won't. He says, some do, but not us. Thank you all so much for watching. What do you think of this breakdown? What do you think of these Easter eggs? What did you miss? What did I miss? Let me know in the comments section below. Let's talk about it. Thank you all again for watching. And have a great rest of your day.